Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Cougar House Garage. And another episode, let me get under this trickle charger, working on Gigantor. Today, we're gonna finish welding on the front. We gotta weld the four link mounts onto the axle, fully weld the coilover mounts on, and then move on to welding together the front cross member and tacking the coilovers on, or the coilover towers, sorry. And then we'll mount the coilovers and do a flex test Make sure we're all good, and then we'll fully weld the front cross member on and the coilover towers. And then back here, we gotta weld the rear four link mounts on too. Make a new rear pan hard bar. Weld together the tube adapters, or I call them slugs, for the front pan hard bar, steering rod, and tie rod. So we'll see how far we get today, guys. Cue the music. Picking up where we left off yesterday, bros. We got the front cross member on. We got all the lower welding complete. There, look. The front four link mounts, coilover mounts, cross members in. Now we're ready to put the coilover towers on and mount up the coilovers. But first, we gotta stick the pan hard bar in there. So let's do it, guys. All right guys, epic moment here. Got the coilover towers in place. Pan cross member on, pan hard bar tacked up ready. Now we're gonna mount up the king coilovers, do a flex test.
All right, guys, we just finished modifying the crossbars to the new length for the inset of everything. So now we need to, after that, we're gonna do a drop test, drop this all the way down and measure for the full extension on the drive line, and then put the wheels and tires back on it. We'll take the pan hard bar off. We got the steering rod off, the tie rod off. We're gonna go put all those on the welding bench so they're wet, ready to TIG weld together. Then we gotta put this plate in. There, look. And then weld the coil over towers on. And the rear, get over here. We got the axle ready to weld the rear four link mounts on. There, look. So now when uh, the welder gets here tomorrow, he'll get everything welded up and burned in and then we'll reassemble this and we'll move on to, oh, he's welding together the rear coilover upper mounts as well. Then we'll get those on and then measure for setting up the bottoms and then we'll move on the sway bars. Awesome day working on Gigantor, guys. We did really good. I'm stoked about it. So we started out today, we got the rear axle, four link mounts welded on, fully burned into it. There, look. And then we got the axle back in place with the rear arms on. Now we're ready to measure and make our new pan hard bar, because you can see how that's way too threaded out there, look. So up front, we got the we got the coilover towers welded on and the front well the front cross member welded on first. We got a plate right here under the frame for underneath the cross member. We'll give it a little more strength. Got the cross member welded on, coilover towers welded on in their position where they go, lining up with the lower shock mounts. So we're looking really good here, guys. Making great progress on Gigantor. So now we're set up so we can get the rear. I've got a coilover mount like that, but is a, it's a smaller one, you know, it doesn't go up as high. It doesn't go up past the bed here until it sticks out. So that'll go right here. We're going to get that assembled on the bench tomorrow, welded together, and then put it on the truck, test fit it with the coilovers, check for plumb, and then get those fully burned together and welded onto the frame so we can put the rear coilovers on. We'll put the front ones back on, and then we'll put the uh, pan hard bar tie rod and steering rod all on up front 
as well as make that rear pan hard bar like I was saying. And then we will cycle the suspension, measure for drive lines. I need to drop it all the way down, full drop, and fully compress it and write down those measurements and get height measurements as well so we can order drive lines. And then we'll move on to sway bars. Once I get the sway bars made, because I gotta be able to cycle the suspension up and down and make them and get all their just or their measurements made to, to make them. Um, and then we'll get those made and then we'll be able to test fit the coilovers with their springs on them and stuff and put it under its own weight, which will be pretty rad. So as soon as we do those steps, then we can send it to powder coating. And while everything's at powder coat, I'll make the uh, transmission cross member when everything comes back from powder coat and we can put the drive line on and we can measure and make the transmission cross member around it. So we're looking really good here, guys, making really good progress on Gigantor. If you guys like this kind of content, you like these kind of videos, let me know in the comment box. And as always, like and subscribe, catch you guys on Instagram, follow along in the story that I'm very active along and on, and on the long journey to SEMA Show 23. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode.